Hi everyone, it's Jeff. Welcome to Train Simulator. We're at Glasgow. Uh, well, we're in Glasgow uh, and we are here. We are in a train. As you can see, loads of noises going off and uh, let's see what our task is for today. So we are at Glasgow Central Platform 12. We need to pick up some passengers, go to uh, Glamour, some Glamour Street Platform 2, then to the uh, Glasgow Airport, International Airport, and then we'll be coming back as well. Okay, so let's uh, first off, let's get our doors open. So hopefully people will be... Wow, that is a camera angle and a half, isn't it? Let's have a look. Hang on. Here we go. Uh, why are doors... Only half the doors are open. Interesting. Not on that side. This is a weird platform, isn't it? Look, so... People from this side, you know, you have to run around... Oh, only you have to run around here. And get on at the top of the train. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'll be learning this as we go, because... Uh, when it comes to... Uh, train sim, I am a relative newcomer, even though I've had it since 2013. I haven't actually played it. I've got nothing on my screens up here, and they don't seem to be working. Seems to be okay. Uh, we're just waiting for our passengers to uh, finish boarding. ETA is 9.58. We are a touch bit late already. Train to set off at 11. Okay. Let's uh, crank the thingy forward and slowly start to pull forward then. There we go. We're away. Uh, we've only got a speed limit of 50 miles an hour, so we need to keep um, an eye on things. Let's bring that back down. Oh, she's still climbing at 17 miles an hour. Sit there at 10, and uh, we, hopefully we should be okay. Wow, Glasgow Airport is... Uh, Glasgow Station is noisy, isn't it? Wow, into the bright morning sunshine. Beautiful. Never been to Glasgow, so, uh, whoa, we're almost speeding there. 14 and a half, we'll hold it there. We've got yellow signals ahead, 20 mile an hour lines, all lines, okay. I'll probably go cha-ching as we go over that, will it? No, uh, but we'll still start coming slowly. Got yellow signal ahead, it's gone brighter yellow. I uh, hope that train's not going to come down here. Shouldn't do. No, it didn't. Thank goodness for that. And we're going onto this track over here. What is that noise? It sounds like the attack of the Mistrons or something. Or car alarms. I might set off car alarms as I go. Right. 20 miles an hour is our speed limit, so we can start cranking up some speed. Uh, the idea is obviously to go to the the airport is our main run today. Um, but if we bring up, click on that button, it will give us our schedule right there. Let's uh, hit that down to zero. That's good. Uh, so yes, we are to go to Glamour Street. Um, arrive at 11.10, depart 11.11. So we are eight minutes out, hopefully. 6.3, sorry, 6.71 miles away. It's over there. Some weird noises. As we're just tootling along... That's on another track, don't worry. Get rid of all that jazz so we can actually have a look at the trains shooting by. Very slowly. Blimey. So we've got Scots Rail, Scotland's Railway. A lovely, beautiful royal blue, isn't it? Emergency braking, because we got a yellow signal ahead and I wasn't in the cabin to notice that. Just holding here. I guess that's because there's um, people ahead. Let's just creep forward a touch. Oops, I'll tell you what, because that's not in there. Forward. God, it's the noise of this bloody train. What am I doing wrong? It, does it always make this kind of noise? That's bloody awful, isn't it? Right, let's... um. Got rent-a-car activity there. Uh, 
we can actually afford to speed up a little bit. You see these little yellow... Oh, it's the, um... It's the electric... Elect electrified, that's what's making that horrible noise. These little yellow boxes, these are the speed limits. So they'll tell us, obviously, that's 60. That'll be 75. Um, so we can afford to speed up. We've got 6.3 miles to Gilmore. So we're doing grand. And we can get rid of that and have a look around the cab. Got a little radio down there. We've got our controls here. I'm obviously using these uh, GUI controls, which seem, just seems to be a lot easier. As I said, I've never been to Glasgow, never used their train system, so I don't know if this is accurate, but I believe they are supposed to be pretty damn accurate, these maps. I need to do uh, one which I have actually traversed on, and then I'll be able to tell you. Oh, we've got, we got some rolling stock down there, by the looks of it. Uh, 43 miles an hour, keep an eye on our speed. Green signal ahead, which is good. Oh, there's a couple of diesel locomotives, that's what that rumbling was. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful. And we've got a rumbling diesel coming up to us. Wow, what a noise. And what they got? I can't I can't look above. Probably got coal in all these. Uh... Wow! Look at that. That is moving. Oops! Hang on. I got it. I'll get used to these keys in a second. It looks like it's got coal in them. Look how many wagons it's got. Wow! That is. That must be one powerful traction. Tra traction engine. Uh, diesel engine. That is quite impressive. Right. Five miles to go. We need to get some speed on. 75 miles an hour. Let's um, let's just crank it up. Let's just hit the uh, hyperdrive button. We're supposed to be there in four minutes, so uh, yeah. Pedal to the metal time. We got St Helens upright uh, air. I don't, th we're not stopping there, of course, so we can, oh, hang on, oh, it's green. <laughs> I saw two red and I thought we were in trouble. But green, green ahead. It's got some nice rolling landscape, and these big, that big thing to the back there, that looks like a, a gas storage thing, that thing there. As you go through, you can see the light went. Oh, let's back that off. We're almost up to the speed limit. Beautifully. Look at the old diesel train coming down this side of us. Oh, it's not a diesel train, sorry, it's a train in the station. Whoa, 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 crazy stuff, okay, oh, look, football, football pitch, ah, this is nice, isn't it, it's really nicely modelled, even the, uh, the sceneries, there's a lot of detail in the sceneries, you've got another train over there, looks like he's holding, is he holding, it's just the engine, just the engine, don't know what he's doing, but we're rocking now, 73 miles an hour, look at this, Got some lovely houses. There's not much of a view in this this cab, is there? Really? It's a bit disappointing. You don't have the. Uh, it's not the open cab like the uh, the under underground rail carriages are. Um, I kind of got used to having quite a good bit of visibility, but these these have quite poor visibility. But I should imagine they go a lot faster. Well, they do go a lot faster. And they're potentially, obviously, wide open glass. has got potentially a lot of damage could be done if something was dropped from a bridge, like a stone, or something was flicked up, or somebody stepped out in front of a train. You know, you're um, you're going a lot quicker. So I guess you need a a tougher frontage to the train, so the driver doesn't get injured. Ah, 
Uh, we're coming out, out of the city now into the uh, rolling countryside. Uh, we'll be dropping down to 45 miles an hour in a bit. Ah, Glamour Street platform, that's where we're coming. So, let's start slowing down. We got an alarm to say there's something on the track, I think. So we're slowing down. It's got 40, 45 minute limit there, so uh, we'll, we'll sort of, when it gets to about 50, we can just, just leisurely rock in. Hopefully we're going to do it uh, in reasonable time, so uh, we don't get penalised, but... Oh, did you hear that snap of electricity? That was awesome. Uh, drop down to 35. Let's just stabilise the speed. Up you go. There we go. Brakes released. Uh, so we were due in in 10 seconds, aren't we? Okay, we might just need to... Um... We're not going to be too bad, badly out time-wise. It's just I don't want to... Uh... I don't want to scupper our plans because we need to leave there in 55 seconds. Oh god, hang on, we need to... Yeah. We're due to get in as soon as we're, we're to go, and it's not like Underground Simulator where you can just move on. You've got to wait for the uh, the correct boarding time and everything, so... Okay, into Gilmore Street we come. Now, I don't know how quickly this stops. It's the first time driving the train, so... Uh, I may not get the uh, the parking on the platform that well. I love the fact that track IR works in here. It's brilliant. All right, let's start slowing down. Twenty six, twenty five. We'll get to about twenty miles an hour, and then I'll release the brake and let her cruise in. The idea is obviously to get all the uh, carriages on this platform. Well, she's all on the platform now, so we can stop. And as soon as she stops, we'll crack open the doors. Boom. There we go. So we are a minute late already because we were supposed to leave here at 11.11. 11. It's now 11.11. 11. It's going to be 11.12 by the time. We so we're going to have to try and make some time up on the way to uh, the airport, platform one. So we're going to have to uh, hit the old hyperdrive, light the afterburners, and uh, and away we go. Come on, people! Off and on, off and on! As you please! Right, okay. Crank it. Time penalties, you see those time penalties? Go, 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 go! We're away. Now we better not rock too quickly because we've got f no. Okay, 45, 45 until we hit there. Then 60, then 75 as we rock there. If we can do a nice gradual acceleration. That would be pretty cool. Oh, look at that lovely church in front. Nice pointy steeple. Yellow signal, not good. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Hopefully, whatever it is is going to be off our line shortly, and it'll clear away. Uh, actually, I shouldn't accelerate too much when I know there's something in front of us. Which begs the question, if we were a minute earlier, would we still have these? Would we be right behind him? I don't know. Whoa! Whoa, okay, okay, I didn't realise we were switching. Okay, let's slow, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. We took that far too quickly. Wow, I'm sorry everyone in the back. First time, first time on the on the job. I do apologise, We did. <laughs> I'm amazed we didn't derail coming around that corner at... 40 miles an hour or whatever it was. So this has got to be the uh, K 
coming off the uh, the main line into the station area I would imagine if we uh, yeah if we then have a look forwards oh here we go you see over the uh, over the motorway and then we come to the the state the uh, I didn't know uh, Glasgow had a, a grass runway Scotland Airways is there a Scotland Airways there's there's part of the runway there Anyway, we better go back and see what the train's doing. Uh, we can actually crank it up to 45. 35 there. What time are we due in? 16. Okay, 11.16. It's not looking good. Put the speed down because it's going to be 35 in a second. There's some football pitches. This is the, uh, the bridge over the, the motorway. Dual carriageway, actually, but damn it! So there's you can see the aircraft tails. We are speeding a touch. Let's just drop that down. Wow, they, they're really jack hot on speeding, aren't they? Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, we now drop down to 25. See, I shouldn't have done all that sightseeing. I've lost track of what I was supposed to be doing and uh, stopped paying attention. That's when mistakes happen. Wow, you can hear the aircraft engines. How close are we? That's blooming loud, isn't it? Anyway, here we are into platform one. This is the uh, the airport terminus. Okay, they got a little bit excited and they stuck the emergency brake on. That's that's a little bit harsh. You didn't need to do that. You didn't need to do that. You buggers. 11.16 though. We are back on schedule. Yes, we've got speeding points and they did, did emergency brake to get in here. But we're back on time, people. That is the important thing. Now I'm guessing we'll need to switch to the other end of the train. So this is this is the uh... wow. It's noisy around here, isn't it? So you got the you have got the motorway, you have got the airport, you have got the little petrol station, train station, everything you'd ever want. Right. So if we switch, to the, I reckon we need to switch to this end of the train. Wow. That is really noisy. Don't worry. I'll. Oh, there we go. I'll uh, I'll adjust that when I actually do the editing, so it's not quite as um, eardrum bleedingly bad. Wow, that was loud. Come on, this timer—it's killing me. It's a better view of uh, everything around here. Get ready to depart at 11.17 for Glasgow Central. Stopping at... Okay, great. Let's go. So I think we're just going back the way we've come. I'll, I will learn these camera controls sooner or later. Right, so that's the back of the carriage. So that's got to be the front carriage. Yes, okay, I'm with it. Keep an eye on that. We don't want to speed too much. Don't mind speeding, but not not excessive speeding. Wow, I wouldn't. I, I'm guessing uh, transfer in. Yes, that's supposed to be like a holiday, isn't in, isn't it? I wouldn't want to stay in there. It's going to be really noisy with those aircraft. But I'm sure it's not that bad. Oops, some sort of uh, bepping on the uh, on the highway. Oh look, they've got local air, which I bet you that's supposed to be a cover for Logan Air, who's an airline who does uh, Scottish airline does a lot of stuff that actually flies from Norwich. I normally fly with Logan Air, who are a subsidiary of. Oh look! Wow! Um, who are who basically do um, contractual work for Flybe? 
Uh, so yeah, when I go to Manchester from Norwich, I'm very often going with Logan Air in a in a little. What do they normally do? It's a twin prop uh, Dornier 328 or something like that. I kind of little Dornier anyway, which is pretty sweet. So yeah, that's probably supposed to be Logan Air. That's pretty cool. I love the detail in there, and even an aircraft taking off. That aircraft was silent taking off, mind, but. That's probably the one we heard spooling up its engines. Right, let's uh, crank up the speed. We can do 46, although we will be slowing down in a touch. Bing! Well, for my first attempt, I don't think we've done too badly. Yeah, we had a bit of a speeding. We'll, we'll see what the final score is, but... Um, the good thing about trains is that you don't get lost. No. You can't take a wrong turn. Well, you can, actually, because... In this game, I don't know if you know, you can actually change the signalling. So you can move the signalling around to get onto different tracks, which um, you can do in the, the tougher scenarios. But I'm going to start off with some of the easy ones, just to see A, if you're interested in train sim, B, if I'm any good, which I'm not. But you know, also, I'm going to try and learn as well. So let's just slow down a touch. Back to the church. We rock that speed limit this time. Uh, still 30 miles now. We can probably accelerate a bit, release the brake, and accelerate up to 60. I'm not sure if it's the whole train's got to pass that point before we can do 60. There we go. Doesn't matter. Let's just hyperdrive. A lovely church there. I love how you can just take a free camera and just. Whoa. Why is my train stopping? Ah. Uh. It emergency braked because I. Damn it. Do you know what I was just saying? It was going so well. It was going so well. But then I was out trying to take a nice screenshot to do the uh, the thumbnail of the video. And there you go. That's what happens. Always pay attention. Stay in cab. Do your job. And no doubt I've got horrendous penalty points for doing something. I don't even know what the alarm was, to be fair. Because I was too busy playing around with the cameras. Lesson learned. That was me slapping my wrist. I'm sure the uh, the uh, the rail authorities will appreciate, you know, the um, the self discipline I'm giving myself. Just on the on the lookabout. Okay, what time we're we supposed to be coming into here? It was at uh, 22 minutes past. Oh, no, wait, hang on, 21 minutes past. Damn it, we are a minute late now. Shut up! I am aware. Just slow down, stop, and then we'll get our passengers on and off. So we are running late, as you as you as you well know. We're supposed to have left here a minute ago. God damn it! And we got ten minutes to get to the uh, what's that? The central platform twelve. Back to the uh, the train station where we started. So we're just doing, as it says, the. Shuttle run service. So it's at Glasgow Airport Rail Link. Is that what it is? The Gal? Some, probably that, isn't it? Um, so yeah, we're just doing a. Oh, thank you. What would be good? I didn't mean to hit that um, button again. Um, what would be good is if you didn't have to. When the message says come up, says yeah, you know, boarding and it has all been sorted out. Why aren't we going forward? Hello. Have I broke it? Oh no, I broke it. It's bipping. What's it? It's bipping. Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah. 
I think I broke it. Let's have a look outside. What's what's happening, or what's not happening? More importantly, why is he broke? Uh there we go. I what? Uh, uh, answers on the postcard, or better yet, put them in the comments below. What happened there? Clearly it was an operator issue, because the train's fine. What did I miss? As I said, I'm going to use these first couple of videos as a learning tutorial, so if you're expecting somebody to be awesome at this game, um, there are, you know, go and find a dedicated channel. I am going to be learning this, so I'm going to be making some horrendous mistakes, which will frustrate those of you who want to watch some real uh, pro train driving. But the idea is to enjoy the experience, learn together and get there in the end. All right, we got some high speed at sections 75 65, so um we might actually have to slow down the acceleration, but yeah. Need to keep this on now just in case I, I miss something important. So I thought this would be a nice, relaxing, stress-free game. Oh, it's been anything but. All sorts of things to worry about. All right, come up to 50 miles an hour. 60 is the limit. That's fine. Whoa. Uh, what time are we do back in the station? 33. ETA is 34. Right, let's take it right to the wire. We got green light. Sound like somebody dropped a uh, metal dish then. Bang! Maybe in the buffet car. Although I doubt we've got a buffet car as we're doing a shuttle run to the airport, but you never know. Our ETA is not coming down, you know. We could speed in. Oh, it is. It's coming down by three seconds. Right, we're gonna have to rock this right on the money. There we go. We're gonna go. There we go. Just we're gonna hold her at 75. The speedo looks good ahead. We're dropping a bit. We've we've 10 seconds. We've we've gained 10 seconds back. Come on, we can do this. Hang on, we were supposed to be arriving. Okay, that's the end of the at 33. Come on, we, we're never going to save a minute in this short time. Let's just crank up some f speed. Try and hold it. So it's very difficult to hold this um, setting at 75. There's probably a, a way to actually to get it to uh, settle quite nicely, but I'm struggling a wee bit. You can hold it at 10 miles an hour. 10 percent. Well, that. It's kind of holding it there, isn't it? Which is quite nice. Okay. Oh, come on. We saved some time. Come on. If we can get it in the... Uh, oh, only 10 seconds we need to save. Minimum. And then we'll get it into the 11.33s. Okay, it'll be 11.33 in 59 seconds, but it doesn't matter. Oh, it's getting there. It's getting there. We might do this. We might do this. Obviously, we're going to get speeding fines. Uh, we're probably going to get tardiness for um, our not keeping to the schedule perfectly. Hey, that's my first day on the job. Where's Danny teaching me, eh? I bet Danny's probably teaching another raw recruit on the London Underground. Um, oh, 34 in one second. Oh, there we go. 33, 59. Fantastic. Right, so we, we, we're going to be able to save... Because we've still got another three or so minutes, uh, or f almost four minutes, until we actually rock into the station. So, as we go past the uh, the gas storage thing, um, so 
that's good. We are just keeping an eye. So what we need to do is really keep an eye out for speed limits and signals now. I think time-wise we can just about recover it. Is this the old diesel train again? It's the one with the, uh, the stock crate we saw down on the other line. Cool. What's this one here? Is that just that engine that we saw waiting to come on the line? I think it probably is. Okay. Okay, we've got 20 mile an hour speed limit, so let's start slowing down. Ooh. Whoa, wobbly, 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 woo. Okay, it didn't shout at us this time. So clearly it probably recognises either the track's clear or we are slowing down. You don't want to slow down too much because I just saw the uh, ETA go up a touch. So let's um, speed up what we got there. Anything? No, nothing? Okay, great. I'm trying to concentrate, but I'm also trying to have a look around, look at the scenery as well, because that's that's the, one of the best bits about being on the train, is you can have a look at the scenery. Oh, look. Oh, two seconds to spare. We're going to get... Yeah, I'd probably sl slow down far too early, but I'd rather get there in one piece than uh, derail or do something stupid. Oh, national speed limit applies. Green signal ahead. We are, in fact, speeding by a mile and a half. I did not see that 45 mile an hour speed limit there. We're coming down to a 20 now, so let's stop slowly. St oh no, 33 and 31 seconds. We recovered it. We recovered it. Let's slow down now. Got a 20 mile an hour. Here's the 20 mile an hour. Oh, we just about nailed that, you know. Right, let's get up to 20 miles now. Let's not sit at 17, for heaven's sake. We need to get up there. Let's go on. 19.6, 19.7, 19.8, 19.9. Whoops. Oh, bugger. <laughs> Twitchy hand on the old mouse control. Yeah, it's not the most smoothest action with the old mouse control, but um, yeah, we're doing okay. We 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 are gonna just about nail the time, I think. Another train going out the station. What happened to that 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 engine pulling all that coal? He's probably gone off on a different line somewhere, but that was quite impressive, wasn't it? Oh, we're dropping. Let's just crank it up a touch. There's a great camera angle. Oh, 50 miles now, all trains. All lines, in fact. Oh, now it's just trying to do me for speeding. Shut up. There we go. And here we come. Big old river there. Don't know what that river is. Into Central Station. Okay. Uh, and we got a couple of seconds. Make sure all the carriages are in. Yep, all the carriages in. Let's st let's stop. Oh, we're a couple of seconds over. Damn it. Well, that's not a bad, not a bad job, I don't think. Wait for this to uh, finish. We are going to be about a minute over, in fact. But um, yeah, well, that was our that was our first first foray into train simulator. Well done. That was a successful drive. Thank you. Uh, so there was our beast for the day. 
Fantastic. Successful drive. Let's get it marked now, shall we? This will be interesting. Please don't be harsh. It's my first time. Um, so, zero XP gained. Boom! Why, why zero XP gained? Total XP, 200, 602. That's not great. I think they're out of 1,000. You scored 713. Okay. So we had emergency brake setting. Okay, so we were just sitting there accumulating penalty points. Were we great? Uh, timeliness. We were late into, uh, into Gilmore Street. We were speeding. Yeah, speeding. I got a speeding issue apparently. Uh, emergency brakes. Timeliness 200. Now, hang on. This. Around here, the, these this emergency brakes, that was the game did that for some reason. I'm not actually sure why. Then we had another bit of speeding. Uh, but not too bad. Not great, but uh, not too bad after all. So that was 713, which is not bad for a first go at the Glasgow Airport Rail Link. So there we go. That has been my first foray into Train Sim. Not the most successful, but what, you, what was your feelings? Thoughts, feelings? Let me know, and we'll see if we'll go from there. So we might do some more. We may not, depending on what people's feedback is. Hit that like button if you have enjoyed it, and join me next time for more video fun, whichever thing we do. So I'll see you later.